Okay. Hi, everybody. My name is Venasia. Um, I'm doing this video just for um, an online course I'm taking at FIT called Sneaker Essentials. So, this is my first time in this rodeo. So, be nice to me. But if you don't be nice, I don't care because I don't really care. Anyways, so what I'm going to be doing... <laughs> What I'm going to be doing is um, kind of like a review, not really unboxing because both of these shoes are old. One of them's like a year old, the other one's two years old. But I'm going to be doing kind of like a review slash compare and contrast. Not really contrasting. Actually, I don't know what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to just be talking about the Air Max, Nike Air Max 98s. So um, I guess we're just about to jump in. So, to begin, the Nike Air Max 98s were released in 1998, I'm going to assume. So, they were designed by Sergio Lozano, who also designed the um, Air Max 95s. And they have, actually, I'll take out the, the first pair. Actually, I'm going to introduce the, first, the, the pairs that I'm going to be comparing and contrasting. So, my first pair are the Air Max 98s in... I want to say they're like white on white. It's like white, platinum, whatever, how they called it. Sorry, I'm not good at the colorways, but they are white. As you can see, these are the men's. Don't judge me, they're dirty. I've had them for a year, and I kind of like, I don't know, not beat them up. I tried to take as best care as I could, but I couldn't do so much. So, all white men's 98s, and then the women's. Little cheetah print and lime green ones. Sorry, I still don't know the colorways. But those came out last year. So I'm going to be comparing and contrasting basically um, the men's from the women's ones. And um, as you can see, so I'm going to use these as an example. Mm -hmm. If I look down, sorry, I'm just looking at my notes because stuff don't stick in my head once I be thinking about it. I don't know. So it um, has the same air sole as the 97s which came prior to these and um they originally retail for 149.99 both men and women's and i think the men's came in colorway cement the colorway was cement maize and obsidian and then for women's it was white centron and obsidian and for kids which i actually didn't know this but i didn't know any of this stuff but <laughs> for kids they um instead of the this the 90 97 sole they had the 95s which i actually saw a picture of those and i actually really like those i don't know why they didn't do this for adults i think they should but you know that's just my opinion anyways so <clears throat> the shoe features on both of them they feature i hate putting shoes on the table i think it's bad luck but let's hope i don't get no bad luck after this wow. so they feature a um, mesh upper, so mesh, mesh. Hopefully, I'm right. If I'm pointing to the wrong thing, God take me. Now. If God don't do it, it ain't getting. <laughs> this whole thing just about to be a joke. If you see me looking over there, I'm talking to my roommate. She over there. I'll probably show you her later. But this is just so I feel less uncomfortable making this video and talking to myself. But anyways, so. A mesh upper, let me see, mesh upper, synthetic leather, so I'm going to assume the synthetic leather is around here, here, and here, and as well as um, overlay, overlay strapping system for fit and support and a polyurethane midsole, as well as, I didn't know what this was, I looked it up and I came up with a whole nother shoe which probably is a whole nother shoe. I don't know, my like knowledge of sneakers is not as far out as I thought it was. Damn shame, sorry. But it features a BRS 1000 Nike regrind sole. And thanks to High Snobiety, I learned all this stuff because I still don't know what any of this means. But um, I guess that's pretty much for the shoe, shoe history. Bye now. So the story of how I first acquired the men's 98s. Um, I don't know where I first saw these sneakers, but these, I always have this problem with sneakers. I always end up either missing the dead, like the drop date or like I end up finding them after the drop date and like they're nowhere to be found or by the time I find them, they're like 
half the market price and I'm not paying that much money for shoes that I know weren't even like weren't even originally that price which is I guess a sneakerhead mentality which you should be like that but I ain't gonna be like that because I'm not I ain't got the funds to do that so I just I ended up searching high and low for these shoes and I don't know how I stumbled upon them but on Farfetch which I didn't even know half the time they like sell um Sometimes I think they sell like third party, if that makes sense. But I may be wrong. But I found them on Farfetch and they, I think they were a little more than what they originally retail for. I want to say, I may be wrong, <laughs> but I want to say these like retailed for like uh, maybe 180, 185, maybe. Maybe 190, could be wrong, could be more, could be less. <laughs> but on Farfetch, I believe they were around like the 190 or maybe like 200 mark and these were probably either my first or second like most expensive shoe i really wasn't even supposed to spend this much but i wanted these shoes so badly i was like whatever i ended up buying them they came out to like 201 dollars and some change or something like that and i bless you or that was a cough never mind but it's okay i ended up getting them they came they were so icy and so nice and i like love and cherish these and that's like the thing with me my sneakers most of the sneakers i have are sneakers that nobody else has and i always like to get other sneakers that don't that people don't have so no one had these in my area whether they had them anywhere else no one had them and they didn't have them at my school they didn't have them in my hometown because i don't go to school in my hometown they didn't have them in my hometown they didn't have them in tri-county Whatever. They ain't have them. So I had them. And that made me feel like, oh, I'm the best. Anyways. So I just, they, I don't know. They spoke to me. But so I'm going to get, that's that's how I acquired the shoe. I'm going to get on to like the details about the shoe. They're a little beat up now. But as I said, they have a, a mesh upper. Just let me get up all in there. Mesh upper. Synthetic leather, which is like here. Probably here too. I don't know if that considers leather. I'm really bad. I'm a fashion design. I'm a fashion major, and my textiles, mm -mm, not good. Sorry, somebody. If anybody actually watches this, please, please don't be afraid to you know educate me because I want to know. Anyways, so um, they have the like they said the lacing system for fit and what is it, structure they said whatever, um, and. They do, I never even noticed, but they do have the, um, the out, so I actually had to look at a pair of my 97s to compare that they actually do have the same sole, like, air sole. But, um, <clears throat> they, I don't even know what else I could say about these. I shouldn't review sneakers, because, hmm. I thought, I think the lacing system is actually, like, not that it's that different, but it's different than the ones that I usually have. I, I am an Air Max girl, like most of my shoes are Air Maxes, um, but they are different than the 97s and the 95s. The 95s are not super different, but I would say they are. <laughs> so, that's all I can pretty much say about the men's. The way that they fit, so like I said, these are men's. So when I got them, and I always lace my shoes like this, like if I can, I'll, I'll lace them like this. So my friend just taught me that like, that's the only way to really wear your shoes. It's very rare that my shoes are tied. It's probably because they're a little loose, so I have to tie them so they stay on my feet and my feet don't hurt. I'm looking like at myself instead of at the camera. That's a shame. They're gonna be like, why is she looking this way? <laughs> I'm conceited, I look at myself. I try to look this way. Anyways, so. To compare and contrast, when I first got these, like, I, I thought they looked fine on my feet. I always have that problem with shoes. Like, I always get them, and I feel bad because they look either fat on my feet or my feet just look weird as hell in them. But these didn't look so bad. They do, now that I have women's ones, they do fit, like, wider. And my feet do look fat in these, but I don't mind it because I usually wear these with baggy pants. And even if I don't wear them with baggy pants or, like, sweatpants, they still look nice to me. Because I love these shoes and I pay $200 for them. So they're going to look nice either way. But um, they do fit differently. 
I usually keep them laced like this, and that's usually that's like my big difference between the two. You'll probably mention it later. But like the lacing, I always try to make them as even as possible. Like when I clean them, I always like when I relace them, I always try to make sure like when I relace them, like starting here, I always make sure they're even because sometimes they end up like one will be all the way out here and then the other one will be all the way in here and my shoe is coming out my foot is coming out of the shoe and it's doing some crazy stuff but that's mostly with those but i think all i can say for these right now they're just they're i don't know these are my these are my favorite shoes even though they're beat up it's because i ended up walking in the city didn't know it was gonna rain but i ended up walking in the city to Dover Street Market and then to the car show in the rain and they ended up getting a little dirty and ever since that day they just never been the same even though this side and this side is like the sole the I guess you would say this is the midsole I hope that's the midsole I didn't learn nothing damn shame anyways I did learn a little something in my mind <laughs> the midsole is still white on these surprisingly but then on this side they like I hope you can't see it but like they look like a off white yellow like they look dirty which is really upsetting and no matter how many times i clean them how many proper sneaker product like cleaners that i have they just it ain't right so these would be my not knock around pair but like my pair that aren't as crispy because i really do want to buy another pair and they're not so they're like sold not for a bad price on StockX. so i might get to that eventually when i'm not poor and not paying off my loans far about the men's 98s i really love this shoe I just, I don't know. I always really like, I don't know what it is, but like this portion of it, I like love it. I don't know how to describe why I love it. I just do my eyes and my brain. That's just how it works. I love these. And it's really sad. This this should be probably like an ending, ending note, I guess. But like, it's really sad that they don't come out with more 98s and better colorways, especially for women because women's Nike shoes, I'm going to say this right now. Hope somebody understands and I hope somebody relates and somebody hears me because Billie Eilish already said it and I've been saying it before she even said it. But like women's Nike shoes are not, I don't know what y'all doing. Really? She agreed. I don't know what y'all doing, but take it from the customer, the consumer, your target market. I don't know what y'all doing, but it ain't it. It ain't it, baby. These, I was so surprised that these came out like, and I saw these and I was like, oh shit, I love these. Like these are fly, da da da. But like. Some of y'all just doing some stuff that is just way too much. You add in zippers in weird places. You put in the thing and this. Like, I understand design elements and the principles. And this is cool. And that's cool. And let's make it funky this. All right. But do it in a cool way and a nice way. Don't do some no crazy ass shit. Because what I've been seeing lately is real crazy. Sorry, I just had to go on that little rant. But anyways, on to the women's 98s. So, big difference. As you can see. The way they're laced, literally you can see how they're just so out there because these laces, I'm going to start off with the bad. The laces, I don't know why, but they just crazy. As I was saying before um, about the, the lacing, it never happened on my men's ones, but the women's, like I said, this one, let me see, this one, <laughs> let me act like a YouTuber and do this. This one all the way out here, this one is in here. Literally, and it does that when I'm walking. And the shoe, it, it'll seriously be just like that. The aglet, and then the rest of this is all out. I don't know why they do that, no matter how many times. And I literally lace them the same way with the with the, the top, um, I don't even know what you call that. The top little loop right there. I always like make sure they're um they're equal and everything and by the time i lace them and they get here they they ain't even i don't know who did it but it's wrong <laughs> but um so i'm gonna tell you the story how i acquired these this one real crazy worse than that one so um i saw these i don't know who i got the email from or maybe i saw it on sneaker news or maybe like on instagram or it came to my email i'm not sure but i saw it was like the animal pack that came out. It was these, and it was a pair of, I want to say it was, um, wow. I know it was a pair of Air Forces, or like the sneakers that look like Air Forces, because there are Air Forces that look like Air Forces, but aren't technically called Air Forces. Whatever. They came out in a pack, and these literally like slapped me in the face. I was like, damn, I need these. Like, I need these. So 
I had like screenshot the drop date on my phone, everything, and I ended up signing up for the raffle on end clothing. And what I didn't know about raffles was that I thought like normal raffles were like you sign up and if you win, you win them, not win a chance to buy them. Me, stupid, I didn't have. <laughs> I. I don't know how much money I had in my bank account. I probably had just about 200 But I don't know why End Clothing does this either. End Clothing, we got, we got an issue. I got an issue with you. I don't know why y'all do this. But, like, the price for the shoe, 10 times more than it, are, than it originally is. Because I'm pretty sure these were about 180 or, like, 185 or 180-something. Not $200. Them, these things on there, I would have to look at my email. But they ended up being... Over $200, and I have over $200 in my bank account. But I wanted these shoes so badly, and I do have a habit of doing this. It's my problem. I know I gotta fix it someday, but whatever. I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> but I ended up, I signed up for the raffle, and I ended up winning literally like a couple hours later. It's like, you won the draw. And I was like, oh shit, no fucking way I won the draw. And it said, you charge your bank account. I look at my bank account. Whoa, man. Man, I don't even know. Either it was overdrawn or it was, I'm telling all my business on YouTube. But guess what? I don't care. Maybe maybe I'll get some more subscribers because I'm so authentic and real and I tell my business. <laughs> Anyways, so I um, either my account was overdrawn or it was just I had like a dollar left. I don't know. But I was broke after these shoes and I felt so bad. But at the same time, I was like, I don't care because I really wanted these shoes. And... They shipped really fast, and it made me really happy. So when I got them, it was just like, ah. And it's just like, I love these shoes, because cheetah print, I've always loved cheetah print. Cheetah, leopard, I um, can't tell what this is. I think it's cheetah, because it's like closer together, if that makes sense. I feel like leopard is like bigger. <laughs> so these shoes, like I, I've always loved, um, like I said, I've always loved cheetah print, leopard print, whatever, when I was younger. And then I like got over it because it was just like one of those trends where it's just like, all right, everybody's gassing it. It looks like annoying now or like when people wear it, when other people wear it, it just look ugly. But um, I, I've always had like a soft spot in my heart for cheetah and leopard print. So when I saw these, I was like, oh my God, I'm a Jersey girl. I need it. So I... Actually, another thing that I really liked about them, too, was the combination. Like, they threw in the, the neon green, which was, like, really big and still, like, a big trend now. But, like, they threw those in, and I saw it, and I was like, oh, my God. Like, I think that – I thought that was, like, genius for some reason. It, I still think it is. I love it. But I unboxed them, and they were they were perfect. I just stared at them for hours, and I think I got cranberry juice on them now, which is a oh, horrible, horrible. Somebody should, like, punch me in the head. Sorry. But – I promise I really do take care of my shoes. Probably not as much as other sneakerheads or crazy people do, but like, I try, I really do. <laughs> I just, it's just that I don't have enough money to have one pair that I wear and then one pair that I could like just, ah, oh, have nice and look pretty. No, I'm poor. So when I buy my sneakers, I gotta dog them. I gotta wear them. I gotta like, utilize them. That's what they for. That's what I'm spending my hard money on, whatever. But these, they just, I love these. Anyways. So, like I said, mesh, I think this is still, yeah, still a mesh upper, the leopard print, oh, this is cheetah, cheetah, the cheetah leopard print, <laughs> cheetah leopard print, the cheetah print is a mesh upper, um, the synthetic leather, I'm pretty sure the synthetic leather is underneath here, this features, um, obviously the Nike swoosh in a neon green, and then it has, like, animal hair on it, don't know if it's real or not, it feels pretty real, because <laughs> it feels nice, not to say that I'm, like, for that, but, like, I ain't gonna have no opinion on that because then people are gonna be in the comments or not be in the comments or do this and do that. I don't really care. I don't care what y'all be, <laughs> what y'all gotta say. So they feature animal hair and both here too, where the um where you lace the three holes where you like I guess extra lacing system <laughs> and um the lacing, um the green and the um Air Max logo which I love. Um, green and the Nike Air in the back. Well, just as Air. And then on the back strap. Strangers walking in. And um, the synthetic leather is also on the side here in black. 
What else can I say about these? I just, I, don't know, I really like these. But onto the fit. So obviously, with these being women's shoes, not that I didn't expect this, but like they do fit, I guess, closer to the foot. But I've worn them both like this and um, like tied. And they do stay on my feet more when they are tied, unfortunately. But I get used to these being unlaced. So with them, it, whether they're flopping off my foot or not, it's probably like a little bit of like a, a little bit of room. But I, I'm so used to like wearing my shoes like that. I don't even like care. It's probably bad for my feet, but I don't care. I put fashion looks before comfort, which is probably a problem. But you know, whatever. Who cares? <laughs> I'm still fly. So, um, they fit, they fit pretty, like, they fit on the foot, nice, snug, even when they are, like, loose and damn near coming off my foot, still pretty good, yeah, I, the only problem that I have is, like I said, the lacing system, which, like, these are, these are obviously, like, they're, they're out, they, like, look loose, Obviously, because I don't lace them, but like these, damn, these are like out there. I don't know why they're, they're, they're just, all right, back. So, as I was showing you, it's real loose. I'll probably put them out of my feet again so you could see, because that was just ass. But this is also synthetic leather here. Didn't peep that. The more you look at the shoe, the more you find. And I know people say that, but like. I analyze my shoes, but never analyze them like in depth like that, which I probably should, especially if I want a career in the sneaker world. But <clears throat> my only problem, actually, I'm going out. All right, so like I was saying, let me stop doing that because I'm probably doing it wrong. But guess what? I don't care. Still don't care. Back to the women's 98s. So <clears throat> I think I was last talking about the lacing system. Too loose. I don't know what's wrong with them. It might be me, but I don't think it's me. It's never me. But um, that's my only complaint. And then I bought these shoes in, not April. I bought these shoes maybe like February, January, right? In May, I think I was in the city walking around. And I was sitting and I just peeped. Let me see if I could, if y'all could see this. I peeped this and i looked at my shoe and all hell almost broke loose on the damn train because i paid 200 dollars for these shoes left myself damn near broke thank god i didn't have anything to pay for that week damn near broke and the 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 whoever what, what did i learn from this course maybe they do it on these two polyurethanes met something like that somebody didn't put enough of it because it's breaking! Ah! Uh, now I got a I got a problem. Even though like I still wear them, and I really don't like. I, although I love these shoes and I wear them as much as possible, I really do take care of these, and I really don't like dog them or like wear them more than like certain. I don't know. I just don't wear them as much as I wore these or any of my other shoes. I was just so surprised that that happened, and I'll probably end up taking them to someone who could like fill that or fix it or do something because if these shoes fall apart I would probably cry like actually cry and then somehow find Nike headquarters or whoever made the damn shoe and we just gonna have to scrap because it made me really upset I put all my money on these and they're falling apart why but other than that <laughs> I really love this shoe and this is like like I said, nobody has a shoe. And Tri-County, Tri-State, I can't talk really for Tri-State because I don't be all up in the, I don't be in New York, I'll be in New York, but I don't be in New York like that or Pennsylvania, Connecticut, wherever, whoever is close to us, Delaware, this place, that place, I don't be all the way around, but nobody got these shoes, just me. And I love that and everybody gasses this shoe and I like hearing everybody gas it because they mind, they reflect my personal style. And like I said, nobody else got these. I love having stuff that nobody else got and that nobody else can, nobody has the mind to think of buying because I'm gonna just be nice and say that people don't think like I do, obviously. So these are my babies. And I'm probably gonna try them off for you now because 
There's nothing else really I could say for them. To be honest, I think this, um, I want to say in fashion, when you're sewing, it's called like binding or piping. That's kind of what this looks like. I'm not sure if that's what it's called like in the sneaker world, but this right here. To be honest, I think these are, um, what's that word when they like, when the light hits them and they make a certain, not make a certain color, but they like reflect, reflective, they're reflective. I'm pretty sure they are. That little piping part. Let's talk about here. I can't always see it, but whatever, which is really rare. But when I take uh, pictures or videos, they shine bright like a diamond. Which I also like because that's like a real subtle detail that I never even knew until somebody took a picture with me with flash. But both of these are my favorite shoe. The 98s actually are, I want to say they are my favorite Air Max. Um, my favorites are 95s, 97s that I could think of right now but like my all-time favorite actually are the 98s and it makes it even better because I was born in 1998 <laughs> but um yeah hopefully somebody see this and take into consideration because target market target market and you know they, we always write and y'all always want to know our buying our buying practices and whatever you want our feedback that's my feedback y'all need to do better with the colorways because uh -uh. And that explains a lot because I only have two of them, two of them, and they're my favorite shoe. Y'all do a lot for the men's shoes, and they make them all nice, and, like, y'all have them, y'all make them nice, regular colorways and not no crazy ass shit. But, like, when it comes to women, y'all just a slap in the face, basically, because, I don't know. This is, like, a lot going on, and it is crazy, but, like, it actually looks nice. Surprise, surprise. But, like, all those other shoes, we gotta step it up. Maybe... Somebody give me a job. Not give me a job. You got to, like, earn it and work for it. Yeah. But, like, put me in here. What's up? My name is Venasia. Nice to work for you. <laughs> I'll be happy to put my design input as much as I can because sometimes it'd be a little, like, I don't know how to get my point across sometimes. As you can see in this video, I'm stumbling over my words sometimes and it don't make sense. And sometimes it sound a little ghetto. But that's all right. We'll get it eventually. But basically, step it up with the women's because I don't know what's going on. But men's, y'all just got it all. Like, damn. We can't even have nice shoes and y'all just got everything. And y'all still be complaining about stuff. But I'm going to just shut up. But I'm going to get to showing you them on the feet. <laughs> Okay, so hopefully y'all can still hear me. But as I was saying, like, they have a nice fit. They, like, slim to the foot, if that makes sense. <laughs> Excuse my yoga pants. I had to cuff them so you can see the product properly. <laughs> but, like I said, the lacing is usually, like, real loose. Probably can't tell because it's so dark, but like the lacing is usually like loose like this. And this shoe, it's always literally my right foot. It's always this one is like real small over here, as you can see, or it's even literally always as I put it on, it's like this. The aglet is literally just the aglet like that, and then this part is completely out. And I always have to like adjust them and like retighten them and do all this stuff when I put them on, which is kind of annoying, but like. I don't care because I love them, so. No, I'm playing. <laughs> and then now we have the white 98s on the feet. Can you, I wonder if you can tell. See, they look more white here, and then this one is literally like an off white here. It's just so bad. It bothers me on the inside. But they look. I don't know if you could tell, but they look wider on my feet than the other ones do. It's probably because men's feet are, like, wider and, like, fatter, I guess. But, like, I don't mind it. But the lacing system, I never really have a problem with it. They usually, like, they're loose but not as, like, out there as the women's ones are when I wear them. But I usually wear them like this. They usually stay right on my feet. Excuse I'm wearing black socks, which you're not supposed to do. White shoes, white socks. That's how it's supposed to be. I don't care what nobody say. That's the rule. But thanks for watching. Um, guess yeah. Thanks for watching. And you know, I'm not a YouTuber, but if you like me going off about stuff, 
and fashion and clothes and shoes and anything else that crosses my mind because I like to talk a lot and I like to stare at myself obviously but um subscribe down below <laughs> subscribe down below like and comment do whatever your heart desires if you want to leave a mean comment do that too because uh, I don't really care I'll probably read it and start laughing and probably agree but if you want to leave a nice comment we appreciate those too here but um thank you so much for watching and I think that's it.